Well, it is time to show you some of this morning's headlines. The Florida Sun Sentinel says the pregnant South Carolina woman who drove her minivan with her three children into the Atlantic Ocean has been charged with attempted murder and child abuse. Police say Ebony Wilkerson tried to kill her children and locked the doors to that minivan to prevent a rescue. Bystanders pulled her and the three children to safety. The Tampa Bay Times reports Walmart pulled meat from the shelves of one of its stores after a Florida family unknowingly ingested LSD on the beef it had for dinner. Doctors induced labor in a woman who was nine months pregnant after she started hallucinating while taking her sick boyfriend to the hospital. It's not clear how the drug came in contact with the packaged meat. The family of five is said to be okay, including the newborn baby boy. The New York Daily News says actress Sheila McRae has died. She is best remembered for playing the sharp-tongued Alice Cramden on the 1960s recreation of The Honeymooners. Sheila McRae was 92 years old. The Washington Post reports Maryland lawmakers are considering a first-in-the-nation bill that would ban minors from purchasing energy drinks. Lawmakers are concerned that the energy drinks pose a health threat. A Maryland teenager died after consuming a popular energy drink. And the Los Angeles Times says Dorian Satoshi Nakamoto, the man identified by Newsweek magazine as the inventor of Bitcoin, has a lot of the online currency, more than $12,000 in fact. They are donations made as an apology of sorts from a Bitcoin website for the inconvenience Nakamoto endured when he was thrust into the spotlight. Newsweek is still standing by its story.